People sometimes ask me, what is special vehicle operations? It's about engineering excellence. We've been given permission to push the boundaries. These are not just great looking cars, we make special cars. Cars with real substance and real integrity. It's really important for our customers and our retailers to understand that SVO as a concept spans across both Jaguar and Land Rover. When I think of this in my mind, I think of the triangle. SVO is at the center of the triangle, and there are three dimensions. One of them is luxury. One of them is performance. And one of them is capability. Luxury is all about the interior ambiance, it's about materials, it's about the status of the car. You might argue that the ultimate form of luxury is bespoke. It really plays well to our British traditions of craftsmanship. We're looking at how we can apply real British luxury and comfort to our products. We decided to launch SVR on the Range Rover Sport. That was actually quite a controversial decision. The SVR just broadens the breadth of capability of the car. Its performance on road is just electrifying. The second SVR product will be the F-Type. And again, it plays to the same formula. The engineering team said, let's take this car to 200 miles an hour. And they did. I think about Paris-Dakar, I think about Camel Trophy, and somewhere in between there is SVX. Taking that capability that's inherent in the product and making it even more usable and even more visible. At Oxford Road, we are launching our commissioning suite, where we will welcome potential customers to see what's available in terms of really putting their own personality on the car. The team we have working on these cars have a great passion for perfection. Right now we've got the Range Rover Sport SVR, the Range Rover SV Autobiography, and the F-Type SVR. We plan to continue to introduce more Halo products, so the SVO product range will increase significantly over the next three or four years. This is just the beginning.